see if I can figure this out. I think, yep, yeah, I'm live. There you go. Six seconds ahead. Hello, everyone. I hope you're doing well. Uh, if you can hear and see me, just let me know. Um, yeah, there we go. All right. So another last minute stream, you know, I don't plan for anything to be honest with you. And it's Sunday. Uh, the queen had to go do a few things. So uh, I want to do some updates and I want to take a look at a couple of games that, uh, you're going to be seeing over my three weeks of being off. That starts, um, the 24th. Uh, I will be off. Um, the first thing that we're going to be doing is we're going to be giving away a bunch of games on the 24th. That's our little Christmas present to you. Then on Christmas Day, I got a nice little Christmas me message from myself and all the wonderful people at Miniature Market. Um, just want to thank you guys for a great year. Tim, what's up, bro? Just say, Rob, I can hear and see you. And that would be awesome. It looks like everything's working, so we're off to a good start. Uh, especially since we've spent so much money this year trying to get this thing really going properly. Um, and that's been a big thing for for me is just making sure that we have this going. So we're going to be giving away on Tuesday. You don't have to be here in the stream, but you, you kind of want to be in the roll-off game. You know, because you can change your numbers depending on how I'm rolling. Uh, so um, as soon as I get back from work on on the 24th I don't it's just going to be one of those things that I'll set it up in the morning and I'll have a pretty good estimate what time I'll be here I like to run it for a while hi Rob hope all is well with you and your family well we're doing okay to be honest with you um, things are going to be a, a little tough for us uh, next year um, there's some changes in Medicare so it's going to affect uh, the Queen's job so we are going to have a tough time but we're going to do the best we can so one of the things with this giveaway i'm going to ask if you guys can pay shipping okay um i would really appreciate if, if, if whoever wins if you don't if you can't afford to pay shipping or something talk to me we'll figure something out but uh we're going to be giving away a lot of really 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 good stuff that i think you're going to want to say see uh james how are you oh we're giving away Cthulhu Death May Die, Tapestry, Bargain Quest, Copy of First Martians, Flick Wars, and probably a couple other surprises in there that I'm going to squeeze in there. Yeah, I'm going to squeeze a couple things in there because I can use the room, to be honest with you. I should auction that stuff off, but eh, it's Christmas. Give some stuff away, right? Um... So that'll take care of that. Um, I'm trying to think else. We've got a ton of countdowns coming. We've got a ton of um, stuff that we're going to be doing live over this over that time because it's just easier for me to do it live. Uh, tomorrow I'm going to have uh, tomorrow on BGG I will have the final of Cthulhu, and then um, when we start Nemesis, which we're going to start the following week. Um, we are going to um, come back live, but it's going to be taped. I'm going to do the talk over uh, for Cthulhu Wars, and 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 right before Nemesis starts, I'll show you everything painted uh, because I have some footage. I just want to get it out there, show off the rest of the monsters. Uh, I didn't do the bosses. I'll add that. I'll show you guys those off because they're pretty easy. Because you saw. Them most of the bosses when I painted the big dude so um, it's it's the same figure only this big so whatever I think you'll be more interested in seeing how I uh, airbrushed the big dude because we got the big dude coming back in and then if, if it's really by uh, by popular demand and you want to see season two and all the expansions painted let me know we'll do that as well maybe we'll squeeze that all into one one thing but uh, I really want to get the game played live to be honest with you one thing that I did get in and I want to show off, and um, I want to show you some of the games that we're going to be playing. Um, I just got through taping the my review of this. Hopefully I did not move this too far out of the range. Is um, I taped a review for a game that... Talisman, Kingdom's Hearts. Now, let me tell you something. 
my daughter is the biggest talisman fan on the world. Uh, my youngest daughter, Victoria. Um, she loves talisman, and I tried to get her to play. What was that game? Uh, talisman Legacy or something like that, or Legends or something like that. Nothing. Couldn't get her to move on it at all. Then I tried to get her to uh, take a look at Talisman Batman. Do you want to play Talisman Batman? Because you like Harley Quinn and you like this and that and the other. No. Big Bang, how are you? You're always coming in late, so I have to I have to stop what I'm doing and say hi to Big Bang. Always have to say hi to Big Bang. Um, so, talked about Batman uh, Talisman. No. I want to play regular Talisman with all the stuff, everything involved in it. No. Wanted nothing to do with it. But boy, the minute I pulled this out, and I said, hey, they're coming out with Talisman Kingdom Hearts, she lost her mind. She lost her mind. Let's take a look at this board, because I, I really want you guys to see how... Let me get my glasses off of it. Come on, Rob. I mean, really. My glasses are crooked, because I bent them. Now we're going to go top down here. Oh, there we go. All right, so... I mean, look at this board. I mean, this is beautiful. This is an absolute beautiful board. And I'm, I'm, I'm really... She saw this, she lost it. But the thing that she she saw and she really lost it was... And, you know, we're going to do a review on this, is the figures. All right? All the dudes in here. All right? Come on. Uh, where is he? Where's her boy? Cause she, she, there's one guy that's her favorite. And King Mickey, if you are Mickey. Now, I'm not a big Disney guy, okay? Even though we live here, you know? There's certain things that I like Disney, but I, I'm not a fan of Mickey Mouse or Donald Duck. I never liked those cartoon tunes. I was always um, a... Um, uh, Donald Duck... Uh, no, a Bugs Bunny dude. You know, because I liked how it went to all this. Sora, there we go. That's That's her boy. So I'm going to be painting all these up uh, and I'm going to probably just tape it and save it for another, another, uh, I'll have it in the can and we'll go over how to paint Kingdom Hearts. But um, I also like the dials. The dials are very cool. But but check out the review. I, I don't want to give everything away. But um, what am I doing? Hold on. Because I got to put this board in here. But this board is just... It just changes everything for you. I, I think it takes an older game and puts a new spin on it. And and for me, you know, you know, playing Talisman every year, I love spending time with my family, but I dread. I dread playing. Uh, if you're going to do Looney Tunes, you got to do the old 50 style Looney Tunes. I don't like the newer stuff. Um, I think I, I just think Bugs Bunny was just such a goofball back then. I'm bringing home my baby bumble. <laughs> that stupid vulture. Um, or, or one of my favorite lines of all time. Wild D. Coyote. Super genius. <laughs> I like the way that sounds. <laughs> or the mad scientist. How can you forget that one? Come back here, little bunny. Rab. Bit? <laughs> uh, yeah. How I amuse myself. The thing here is, you're taking an older game, okay? A game that normally I don't enjoy playing. Uh, I, I, I mean, I, I love the game. I love playing because of what it means to my family. And sometimes we've had some classic, classic games. But they are long and drawn out. Now, all of a sudden, you have this, and it just bring breathes a lot of life into this game and i went oh you know what i'm looking forward to this so you know we play this over the holidays you you're not going to see the review until um i think around the first because i have so much I'm, I'm so far out with material so i can you know take some time with the family of course but i also want to take some time and do some live stuff and i want to show you some of the other stuff that i have planned um, all right, let me see if I can just fold this up without busting everything up. 
All right, there we go. All right, so we're going to get that out of here. So very nice board. Uh, breathes some life into an old, old game. I really think so. Wow, Rob, you do, you can do some voice acting. Hey, <laughs> thanks. <laughs> exactly what I... <laughs> that's, that's it. No more. No more. Um, oh, okay. So uh, one other thing I forgot to do in our update. So that's Kingdom Hearts. I'm really excited about that. Let's get this underneath here. I got some more things I want to show you guys. But I want to come up top for a minute. Uh, yes, uh, we'll go there first. Okay, so I, I've been really working on the Patreon. As you know, we had that big announcement that we killed it. Uh, the funds are gone. Uh, there's no way to support it anymore, but I, my whole thing is just drilling it, getting it done, and then maybe a year or two from now, figure out a way that we can raise money for cha charity. Right now, I'm going to do auctions and stuff like that, do the best I can to raise some money, and whatever donations that we get, either Super Chat or if you become a channel member, uh, all goes to charity. Um, I, it's not about running the channel, uh, you know. It doesn't... Don't even get me started on that. It's Christmas. I don't want to, uh, in, in the holidays. I, I, I want to be very positive. So being very positive, let's mark off some names. Alan Richardson, your th stuff is already in the mail. Congratulations. And boy, what a pain in the neck painting that was. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Mark Vanstein, congratulations. You're in the mail. You were sent out on Thursday as well. Uh, my daughter was very helpful. That is going to move um, some people up here. So I'm just going to write because we're going to add some names uh, probably uh, Monday once I figure out how I want to do things. So we're going to move Phil up to number one. Phil, congratulations. I think I can get your Cthulhu Wars done uh, because I'm going to airbrush it and I have experience at doing it. So Phil, you're number one. And then, uh, let me just erase Phil here. And over these three weeks, I plan on getting about 15 people done. So I'm really excited about that. Because uh, I think I could do it the way I got it planned out. Uh, Ryan, 99% of your stuff is done. Uh, Ryan. Blackstock. Blackstock, you are number two on the list. And you will be finished up. Hopefully, I hopefully can get you done this week. And then we're gonna add we're gonna add five more names on here. There we go. Hopefully that did not go out. Okay, there we go. So now we move those guys up. Uh, Ryan, Ryan's thing. I've got some big thing that I have to do for King uh, for Kingdom De uh, Death uh, Monster, which uh, I just got part of them put together. I got to finish the other part because I found that box and I'm happy about that. So there we go. That's everything to do with the patron. Okay, so we're moving along. We're doing great. I'm really excited about it. Let's go to the next game. I want to show you guys a bit. Um, we've got this squared away finally. And uh, let's go up top here. Uh, maybe I can do the uh, the other camera here. Hold on. Let me go to the aviator. aviator camera i'm gonna move this camera out of the way again i'm trying to get all this stuff figured out i'm not very good okay yeah yeah yeah, yeah. oh wrong way Ooh, gotta make noise for noise folks okay there we go all right so i'm gonna put these things on top here so we can get a real good look at it how's that okay hold on i really try to take care of some of the stuff I really do um, so Doctor Who is a game that um, came out from Warlord Games and we've got this all taken care of and I'm gonna and we got it all magnetized so we've got all these really cool old-school dialects here uh, well it's actually the newer dialects so we tried to keep them within that you see I, I put them in a metal tray so they stick isn't that cool uh, I magnetized, got these guys magnetized. Ugh. Ugh. So we've got dialects. We've got Cybermen. Now somebody had asked about this box behind me. And sure enough, 
the cool thing about this box it's a cyberman collector's box where you have cybermen throughout the ages all right so from 1966 all the way to 2013 which is kind of cool so they asked about it and i wanted to get the the game set done and as you can see it is done and uh we're going to show some of this off exterminate yeah exactly uh now i've got other doctors and companions and stuff but this is for of course uh capaldi's doctor as you can see and i'll zoom in on a second here hold on uh, see they should do more of those dudes i think they did i just uh, I, I you know all right let's go in come on focus there we go all right so let me just move that over a little bit there we go uh as you can see the cybermen and all their guys doctor that's the that's a real fight now they first of all they made these guys way too weak on the tv show you know like they were just disposable i really think that's stupid there has to be a level of fear if it, you're only as good as your enemy is and uh, uh you know i just don't get it one of the things that you know they make dialects like disposable or cybermen disposable I don't believe that. You should see these and run in fear. Anybody remember the old uh, 1960... What was it? 67, 68 movie where um, Peter Crushing was the doctor and and they took over the Earth and you, you just... There was no way that they were going to win. No way. And somehow they found a way to win. That's the kind of thing they're not menacing anymore you know now you just run up to them and spin spin their heads or something they blow up i mean just really stupid and cybermen you, it should be the same thing amy pool yes of course we've got it all figured out there um really just um they need to do a better job so this is a game that you guys will be be seeing uh hopefully over the break uh i just gotta get the rules down a bit um but um, everything's ready to go. Very interesting. Warlord did a, a pretty decent job with this. Um, I think it's a decent game. And it's probably the only game that they really get. You know, that, that uh, the only Doctor Who game that I really think is really stands out. So there we go. So let me just uh, come up top here again. Like I said, I want this to be a lot of information. Uh, I watched some of the old Doctor Who stuff. It's classic. Yeah, the old Doctor Who stuff was just fantastic. Where one dialect was more than enough. And they started off the new series uh, when they had um, Ekison. When he saw the first... the first, um, he, he saw the dialect all changed up and he was like terrified. It was one dialect. And, and, and that's where it just goes. It, it, it goes wrong from there. Uh, they do some things have to have the camera camera sounds yeah you gotta uh let me see if i missed any comments because i'm very big on on keeping comments going here uh man am i jealous I, i'm a huge huge doctor who fan truly fantastic work oh thank you very much um really really clara not md oh no a a amy pond miss pond no uh miss pond was uh was uh he was with she was with matt smith there we go uh there we go okay so there's that uh another thing i want to take a look at i think i have it here yeah we've opened up and this game has really fascinated me quite a bit and it's made it's made some headway i played it off camera a few times and i think you guys will really get a kick out of this and that is tank duels um really really interesting how this works um i'm gonna let's go up top right let's go up top let's go well first of all we'll finish the doctor who talk and then we'll go right into this um 
really got a lot of stuff. I did some major cleaning up here. Um, I, I, I know that that doesn't sound like much, but trust me. Um, really some major cleaning that we got done. And um, I've got a few things that, uh, some from Reaper stuff that we're going to take a look at, that we're going to be painting. Um, we're really trying to get a Reaper sponsorship. Um, they're going to look at it um, in January and see maybe if they want to sponsor the channel. I, I, I think the chances are very highly unlikely. Um, if they do, we'll be using Reaper paints, which are very good. Uh, so we'll switch over our paints. And um, also, um, we'll be getting a bunch of their figures to work on. But I'm going to be working on them anyways because we've got a bunch of things that we want to start kind of working into. One of the reasons of trying to finish in the, the, the um, patron is so that we can put up bigger games and play them and leave them up instead of having to always bring things down because I've got to break things down because I've got 9,000 paint projects. We've, I made a different area uh, that you, you know, maybe, maybe we'll do another walkthrough video. Um, oh shoot, I forgot to pull that down. I wanted to show you guys that. Oh, egg whites. King and things. Does anybody remember that? I'll pull it down because I can go off camera. We're unprofessional. Uh, Tank Duel is a really good game. Bojan says, I'm sorry I butcher your name. And you're such a nice guy too. I really like you too, because you you know you've you've been here for a while. You've you know you criticize things when they need to be criticized, and you've also been very complimentary when it was time to be complimentary, and I like that. And you've never been hateful or anything like that. You've always just been a nice guy. Where are you from, anyways, my good friend? Happy holidays, everyone. Says the glowing turtle. Happy holidays to you. We got a nice holiday message that we put together. If you haven't seen our, our holiday video that, that the Queen and I, uh, it's kind of funny. I just decided, and I, I panicked because I was afraid the music would get the channel copyrighted problem or something like that. But it wasn't because it was drowned out pretty much. And I had, I'm texting Helen like a maniac. Helen, unmonetize this. Hurry up. I'm trying to get a hold of Tina. Tina, unmonetize this. You know, I can't, I couldn't do it from the hotel room. But I wanted to bring you guys something different. We went to, um, we went and had just a, a really nice time like we always do. Uh, we went to the Florida Mall where uh, the Dice Tower uh, Con is going to be. You know, it's a really nice hotel. The area around it is not fantastic, but you're safe there. I, I can promise you, if you're going to go to the Dice Tower uh, Con, just know that you're going to be all right, okay? Um you know, Tom's trying a new venue. He's trying to do things on his own. And you know, you got to admire, in a lot of ways, some of the things that he's not afraid to try something different. So I know people have been a little hard on him, but I think you should give up. There's a lot of nice places to eat there. Uh, there We ate at a conveyor belt. Uh, as a matter of fact, I think I can show you guys some of the pictures. Hold on. Um, inside the mall because I took some pictures inside the mall and you can see how pretty the mall is so you get it you know if, if you want to go to the Dice Tower Con this year you're gonna you're gonna find that yeah it, it, what people are blowing it up to be isn't gonna be as bad as you think okay let me see if I can find these uh, there's the Queen and I at the hotel okay we're, let's see if we can do this um, all right hold on we're going to take a look at Tank Duel. So, okay, let me move this up. Okay, there we go. Okay, there's me with a Captain America shield from, uh, I thought was really cool. I, I'm a very, Ma, Montenegro. Oh, cool. Getting board games is very is very hard, so I tend to design my, my uh, design, make my own. Oh, very cool. Oh. I look forward to seeing some of your designs, my friend. What games are you looking forward to in 2020? Well, I can tell you this much, uh, Glowing Turtle. Uh, you're going to have to check out the video that I did. Most anticipated games of 2020 that I'm looking forward to. It's coming up this week. I don't want to give it away. Um, so here I am with Captain America Shield uh, in Think Geek. A great store at the mall there. There I am again, being an idiot, trying to learn how... Mega Man. Huh? They had a little Mega Man thing there, which was real cool. 
Yeah, I'm taking pictures like a fool. Look, trying to get the light out. Um, those statues were um, very, very cool. Um, that's of the old Dungeons and Dragons show, which was very cool. Um, there's the queen shopping, and I'm just standing there like a fool. Like, dear God, can we just... Is there, is, is there just some way that this can end? Uh, she wanted that Christmas tree. Do you know how much that Christmas tree was? That was $1,200. Yeah, that's what I said. Um, it was a bucket of popcorn that I wasn't supposed to be eating when I went to go see Star Wars. Um, let's go back here. I think there's a few more pictures that I took. Uh, oh, yeah, see? There it is. There's a conveyor belt. Okay, hold on. Let me, let me zoom in just a hair more. That's hopefully not. Okay. They have a, a, a sushi restaurant where there's a conveyor belt that brings your sushi around. And you can pick whatever plate you want. And each plate costs a certain amount of money. Very cool. Then, um, yeah, there's a New York company. You can see it's a, it's a very beautiful mall. Very clean. Um, yes, there was door busters. And I just sat there as the queen lost her complete mind. Um, yeah, just too much. Um, there she is shopping yet again at Bath and Body Works. Um, look at, look at all those, look at everything she bought. Okay. I mean, come on. That's, that's craziness. There I am just looking completely bored, taking pictures of the ceiling. Um, that is the hotel that we stayed at. Um, that is the, uh, Gaylord Palms. It was beautiful. You can see the video. We, we tried to show you around a little bit. Um, it's, it was just, we had, we always have such a good time. There's a ship inside the, the hotel. Great time. Um, yep. Yeah, there's the ship. Okay. There we go. There's the ship again. There's tarpon in there. Oh, the wife taking pictures of me. See, I, I tried to dress up a little bit for her that day, but that, that's, that's it. That's, that's all she gets this year. Okay. All right. Woo. All right. Put me in a t-shirt. I'm a lot happier. Let's see. Best Buy. Last second savings. Hurry up. If you haven't finished your Christmas shopping, go down to Best Buy. All right. Let's take a look in here because I want to talk a little bit about this game. I think you're, I, I think you guys are really going to like this. Tank Duel. All right. This is badass. Uh, I'll tell you why. I've had a chance to play this on, on four different occasions. This is a... Um, I wanted to surprise you guys because this is the edition I'm going to give away. I have two editions I was very fortunate to get my hands on. Um, we're going to probably be giving this away or putting it in the auction. Um, there's a lot going on here. And these cards, okay, I, I want to make something perfectly clear. Uh, what's this? Plan on seeing Star Wars on the 28th. Will be will be had to avoid spoilers. Listen, I'm not going to give you any spoilers, but I'll tell you this much. It was good. It was good. I had a good time. I went with a couple of friends of mine. Just very, very good. Okay, battle cards. These play such a huge role in the thing. Because on the bottom here, there's numbers and stuff like that. There's different little modifiers. You're going to look for these modifiers on here. Okay, hold on. Uh, let's switch to our other view. Because I, I want, I, I want to talk this game up a, a, a bit, because we're going to be playing it. And I'm, I'm going to, okay, there, okay. So there's little symbols here, and depending on what you're doing, you're going to turn over a card, and the this is your dice roll basically, okay. And then you have different things that this card's going to do every time you turn over a card. You're going to have these cards also in your hand. You're going to be playing them as a move four. Uh, you're going to be uh, using these uh, move up the it flank blah, 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 blah. Uh, you're going to be using some of the, the abilities of these cards and it's going to do a lot of different things James I'm telling you you're going to enjoy it don't worry alright you know critics are fools critics are critics are a lot like board game reviewers okay it's just an opinion the only opinion that matters is your own. Take a look at what they're showing you. And if you can get by the, the sarcastic, uh, you know, everybody's trying to be the cool guy to say, oh, I don't like this game because 
uh, you know, this is that and this is this, they're not helping you, okay? Now, this, the, the, the smart reviewers give you a, a perspective. Maybe it's not good to them, but maybe it's good to you. The best thing you can get out of a review a lot of times is a look at the game and if, you know and if you tune it out a little bit and you say oh that's kind of interesting that might be interesting to me it may not be interesting to that person but the only opinion that matters is your own and that's how you formulate it by getting a bunch of different opinions and that's why there's there's 50 million reviewers now okay um and and, and 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 take a sample of different types of people okay if you got somebody that's always negative and they like it well maybe maybe there's something there or you have somebody that you know try to stay away from the guys that get paid okay that's number one stay away from a pay review uh, i don't think you ever get an honest uh, review they, they try to say they're honest but you know all that matters is what they get okay and how they keep their channel running the most important thing you can ever do is just take a sampling of a whole bunch of different people and formulate your own opinion. That's all I think. And even my opinion on other people's opinions, it's just an opinion. Think about it. All that matters is what you think in your heart and your head. You know, there are games that I love that people hate. And I'm okay with that. It doesn't make doesn't make me a good reviewer. Doesn't make me a bad reviewer. Matter of fact, I don't really review things. I take a look at things. I'll give you what I think of something. I go, you know, this is pretty good. If I really hate something, I won't put it up on this channel. I won't. I just the world's full of too much negativity, and and if I don't like something, I won't. If I kind of don't like it uh, i'll be honest with you i'll tell you what i think rob you always do a fantastic job at reviews and and has a certainly helped me make good choices and purchases now if i could do that if i can point you towards something that or show you something that you might like like this game here some people love it some people don't like it who's right it's like the old saying henry ford okay and i want you to take this throughout your life because if you do You'll, you'll have a better life, okay? Think of what I'm going to say. There are those that believe they can and those that believe they can't. Either way, they're probably right. Think about that. There's a couple of key words in there. All right. uh, I don't put much stock in Rotten Tomatoes, nor should you, but critics have it at 36% and 85% fan vote what i mean what does that tell you because it's cool not to like things it really is uh, it's cool to be snarky um i'm telling you i went with some hardcore star wars guys and when we came out of there the first thing i did is i look at them and i go do you feel satisfied one guy said he had to see it again and then i saw him yesterday matter of fact a friend of mine because we were actually in uh, Disney Springs and I ran into him and his son and he was just coming out of AMT theaters down to Disney. You have to see it there if you, if you can. <laughs> and um, he goes, you know, I saw it again. And for me, this is a 10 out of 10. Hardcore Star Wars guy. Hardcore. I mean, knows everything about everything. And other people that were hardcore guys really, really loved it. Me, I'm not a huge Star Wars guy, but I saw I saw all of them except for the last one. And people are happy. People are happy. And and what more can you want from a movie than to make people happy? There you go. Okay. Let's get back to this game because we keep bouncing out of here. Um bouncing in and out, okay? The playbook is absolutely fantastic. The rules of play are not a ton. It's only, I keep taking my glasses off. I mean, what is my malfunction, folks? Okay, let's go here. Uh, 19 pages. And the neat thing about this, this is uh, key terms. So actually, you're talking about 17 pages. Very easy. The tactic cards and all the other stuff. You're trying to get victory points. Okay? And that's the real neat thing about this. These counters and stuff like that. But, oh man, this is... 
this is the meat and potato. There's no dice in here. No dice. This is the meat and potatoes of this game. And there are so many tanks. I mean, they have tanks on both sides. Okay? Now, this is how you're going to have subtractions here. So you're going to total a whole bunch of different things here. Depending on your range from somebody, your, your, uh, your two hit modifier is going to be like an 82. Remember when I told you you turn this all over, uh, you're going to get a 56. And then, you know, you add whatever penalties and modifiers and so forth and so on to get the final number. Then you're going to turn over the card and that number is going to matter. The first number means uh, is for something, and I forgot what. Oh, God, I wish I, I remembered. You're going to get victory points, okay, for killing a tank. But it's not important. It's not important to kill the tank, okay? The tank is wor worth a certain amount of victory points. It's more important to take out the crew. This is the this is the strength of this game, is that you are trying to take out the crew, okay? You want to kill the crew more than you want to kill anything else. And you can see we've got a whole bunch of markers here, and you're going to use all kinds of different weapons. As you see, you're going to have different different strengths and commanders that are going to help help you out. You're trying to take the crew out because the crew is going to give you more victory points. So if you lose a gunner, guess what? You're going to lose a gun. And that is almost worth, worth four points. It's four points to take the, the gunner out, okay? And four point victory points to take the vehicle out. So you're going to want to kill the entire crew as much as you possibly can before you take this. There's no crew, no, nothing, because you can't take the crew to the next tank. And that's the neat thing about it, is if you kill the crew, they can't go to another tank. And you've got so many, so many historic tanks here. Look at this, Panzer Jaeger Tiger. All right, really? I mean, come on. Look at this. Let's go. Let's turn the other side. Panzerkopf wagon, beautiful. The art is beautiful, and you're gonna have. You could play it solo. So there, there, there are cards that are actually going to uh, run here. You're gonna have primaries and secondary uh, actions. Um, there's going to be cards that uh, you are going to you're going to turn over and it is going to, there's an AI involved here that is going to help and and do a bunch of things hey Gab my pup just came in to see me she missed me uh, look at this I mean look at all these beautiful things so you're gonna have these two cards next to you so say you have these two and then across from you you're gonna have two more those are gonna be run by AI you're gonna run these um, just a fantastic wonderful experience because you got become very involved in trying to keep your crew alive strategically move um, terrain's going to play a big part here you're going to be placing cards like you're going to place this one right here and you're going to use you may want to use it for um, for the field because it's going to help you hold down in certain things it's going to add modifiers when they try to fire maybe you're in a trench or something um, or you may be in open terrain that's going to make you more exposed. Terrain plays a huge thing in it. James, take it easy. It was good seeing you, my friend. About to head to Silver Dollar City with family. We'll go see the lights and a few shows. I am excited to see Tank Duel played through and reviewed. You got it, my brother. That's what we do. Miss Barbara, how are you? It's always good to see my good friend Barbara. Everybody knows how much I love her dearly. And her wonderful husband Matt. Uh, look at the stugs you can ha you can have. You can have all see, oh, man. And there's they're on both sides here. Then you have Russian tanks on top of it. Oh, let's spin this around so you can see. You've got Russian tanks. You gotta have Russian tanks. T-34s. Okay. And you just have this array of different things. And hey, listen, we can't leave out. Oh, yeah, just 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 a ton so it's you know the germans and russians going at it and each other in all its glory with this with this just fantastic feel I, I you know the designer who came up with this um just 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 fantastic 
And I was blown away by this because I, I didn't think I was going to like this as much as I did. Because, you know, I'm a dice chucker at heart. Okay, let's just put these in here. Um, I don't want to pop these out, especially since this is a copy that we are going to be auctioning off in January. But uh, I have my copy, which I, I thought I grabbed my copy of it, but I didn't. Woomph, 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 woomph. But the playbook here, okay? So it's going to give you, it's going to break everything down for you. You have a nice little tutorial, 19 page tutorial. Then you have scenarios. But then you have your solitaire rules and your example of play. The solitaire rules are about seven pages long. Card index, which explains everything that you need. Let's just go to the solitaire rules real quick. Um, you know, different scenarios, how to set things up, how to set the battle deck, how to set uh, the battle order and such and such. And, you know, the neat thing, as you run down the cards, okay, because the game can end before you destroy the other tanks, it, and, and then you total up the victory points, you're going to hit a certain card, and that's going to just end the game. The game's just going to end right there. Boom. End the story. Okay? And then you're going to total up your, your uh, points. So it's going to be hidden somewhere in there. Uh, I think you got to run through the deck three times. The battle deck because these cards you're drawing the cards you're also using the cards for battle so going through the entire deck goes pretty quickly you have historical scenarios okay just fantastically done and and just a you know just again another one of those just wonderful experiences that really come here's the solitaire rules so uh the robota action cards that's what they call them so you, you you're going to have fully operational the personality that's going to play uh, a hand enemy higher low shot quality which is very important you'll see when we play um, you're going to have the player aid here you're going to go down this entire row uh, row and then you're going to the secondary actions um, uh, just wonderfully spotting all you have to spot tanks even in both games um, it just runs through how how to do it and then it gives you an uh, if you don't understand what you just just saw in those six pages you have this beautiful solitary experience gmt just really hits some home runs they really do they really do they just never answer my emails um and you know again just done everything you know laid out for you bing bang boom uh that's how we do it that's how you do it all right, so we took a look at, you know, we took a look at three games, different types of games here. And, and you know, a little something for everybody here. And that's what we like to do. Okay, let's let's say hi to everybody. Everybody's saying hi to Barbara. Sue Park. Tool, tank Duel. Sounds fun, but I wonder if it's too abstract for me. I think I need a map for immersion. No, Sue, I think a lot like you. I agree with you. Sometimes I disagree with you. But I can tell you this time, you don't need the map. I'm telling you, it's about the tanks and they immerse you. The cards give you the the, the map that you're looking for. The cards are going to give you the terrain that you're going to be dealing with. And it's it's very, very interesting on how it plays out. I think it really works. Glowing Turtle, take it easy. All right. Wow, we spent 45 minutes together, which was pretty good. And we covered a lot of ground. We took a look at three different games. We talked about a whole bunch of things. I'm quite satisfied with what we did and how we did it and how we will continue to do it because that's how we roll, folks. That's how we roll. All right. I'm trying to think. Do we have anything else that we want to take a look at? No, we've got a bunch of... I just went out and bought... Before I was up at 5 like an idiot. It's Sunday. Okay? The queen got up at 5 means I got up at five. She went into work and then um, she needed to take care of some things. Then we're going to take the dogs for Christmas pictures, which uh, ought to be wonderful. Uh, then I got to watch my granddaughter for a little while, that little monkey. Um, can you discuss immersion further over a live play of Magic Realm? I sure can. I sure can. Um, like I said, I have three weeks off. I really plan on trying to do some basic stuff with Magic Realm to give you 
a real go through. Um, we've also got, man, I've got so many things. I wanted to, I wanted to keep on going and take a look at King and things, but I think, uh, I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna hold that off for another time because, it, because I ramble a lot. Uh, listen, we covered a lot of ground. We covered some games, so it's just not me just yapping about life and everything else. Um, it's always a pleasure to spend some time with you guys. Um, I'm trying to think what else I got here. Oh, you're going to be seeing this too, Navajo Wars. Okay, that's another good one. Finally going to get Crowbar up. Ugh. We're going to be doing some painting videos. Um, you know, over the next three weeks, because, because the queen works, um, while she can, at least, um, every morning I plan on coming on either either doing something live or painting live uh, just sitting here yapping away uh, love you Rob and your MST 3k shirt hey let me tell you something Christmas Day we run through an entire uh, season of MST 3000 uh, we, I love that show still to this day uh, they just canceled the other one uh, I, I was saving those I have a whole bunch of them um, I actually got them on DVD um, that I haven't even watched the new series but it got cancelled which is sad but uh, I was hoping to go on for a while um, I just never found time where I can take a look at it I'm always working coming here working and then sleeping the Wallace sup Rob well sup Wallace Jedi Jeff good to see you um, you guys want to take a look at King, King and Th Things I haven't looked at this. I was able to get a copy at um, for like four bucks. I have a, a, another version of it up there. Um, it's a Games Workshop and West End Games uh, game. It's very, very old. It's, you know, Navajo Wars looks interesting. Still have not played my copy of Cam uh, Camancheros. Very good. Joel Toppin's games are are rules heavy. Yeah, they are, but they're very good too. Very good too. Hold on here. Hold on here. I'm going off camera for a moment. Oh, oh. I haven't even opened this up. So I don't even know if this is a good version of it. So let's go up top and let's take a look at it. Oh yeah, I still got the sticker, five bucks. Because I was missing pieces from the one I had. Um... I had gotten it, and it was missing. Timmy D, all your work is appreciated. Right? Well, thank you. It's not work. Don't, don't let anybody tell you this is work, okay? It's it, Listen, it, it's exhausting because you come home, and you have all these ideas in your head, and then you got to put them on tape and edit it and stuff like that and put it together. But it's not work. If you really care about what you're doing, you're not working. You're not working. Don't listen to some of these clowns. Okay, and they are clowns in my mind. Uh, see, it's Christmas and I'm, I'm ruining it already. You know, don't listen to these gentlemen. Okay, oh, I, I, were, I, I can't keep going because you don't realize how hard this is. It's not easy, okay? But if you enjoy what you're doing and you think of the people that are out there and you want to get your message out to these people, like, like the community is the most important thing. It's not about me, it's about us together as a whole community okay if you want to get your message out out there do it do it put the time in enjoy what you're doing because you are sharing something that means something to you with others and that's what i try to do boom all right i'm off my soapbox see every time see i'm moving my keyboard over so kings and things is in Rob, why do you keep on taking your glasses off? See, I don't... I don't worry about what anybody thinks of this channel. Okay? The only person... <laughs> is the term gentleman clowns PC enough? Yeah, I guess so. You can't call somebody a clown nowadays? Whatever. The thing that only matters to me is the, the, the small group of people that watch this channel. That's it. That's all. I do this for you guys. 
Am I making money? No. Do I care? Do we raise money for charity? We tried to. Okay. I've got 12,000 friends out there in my mind. Okay. You stop in when you can. You watch things when you can. You, you contribute when you can. Not monetarily, but verbally. And you're part of something that means something to me. And that is this little room here. This little area means a lot to me. This is my safe haven. This is my, my, my night out with the boys or gals or whatever. Okay? You know, this is my time together with you guys. And that's what it means to me. It's my time to hang out and do things I enjoy that my wife doesn't care care about okay can't do it with her so do it with you guys so we come here we do it we have fun there you go that's all that matters that's what the channel is nothing in life that's worth it is easy hmm. let me tell you this ain't hard either Barb this ain't oh oh god what am i gonna do so anyways let's get to this a fantasy board game with everything okay it's got everything it cost me five bucks so it's a little worn down see i gotta go through both copies and figure out which one's the better one. Oh, this has seen some time we have a little pull out here that gives you kind of a quick overview of uh, what goes on here a little stained by time. This is the first time I'm taking a look at it. Oh, so, oh okay. All right. Looks like somebody uh, somebody made a few copies back in the day. <laughs> Queen telling me how long she's got. Uh, Danny Uzo. Dumb man. Hi, Rob. Will you be doing any giveaway soon? Danny, you're late to the party, bro. In the beginning, uh, on... on uh, December 24th, I'm going I'll probably have it nailed down by tomorrow by 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 probably the morning of Christmas Eve. On Christmas Eve, we're going to be giving away a lot of stuff. You're going to want to be here. All right, so we've got all kinds of things going on here. So it looks like they printed all this stuff out. That's kind of neat. Look how old this is, huh? Wow. That's what I'm talking about. Whew. Oh, okay. Nice job. You gotta love it when you get when you get everything kind of broken up. Very nice. The Mountain King, the Warlords. <laughs> Look at these old shits. All right, let me hold, let me hold these up a bit. I'm gonna put these on here. The Ice Lord. Yeah, these are these are like the major baddies. Good luck trying to beat these guys. All right, let me go closer, 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 closer. Look at this. And there's more in there too, folks. All right. So I'm going to give you a quick overview. Swamp King. He was another cool guy. I mean... All right. I'm trying to see what we're missing here. If we're missing anything. Nope, nope, nope. Ghost. Okay, so you got all your just generic dudes here. Uh, fantastic, says Danny Uzo. Thank you. You're welcome, my friend. There's another one that's been around for a while. Who's calling here from Winter Park? Hold on. Hello? Hey, what's up? We're actually live on camera, so I'm, I'm, I'm going to explain this to her. It's a good friend of mine looking who saw that we went to Gaylord Palms. And I just got to answer this real quick, guys. And we'll do it live. Why not? Um, so anyways, Lou, here's the way it goes. When you pay for ice, you get to go into ice, okay? And that's where the Polar Express is. It's the, all the ice sculptures is the Polar Express. Okay? It's nice. To take take them through to see that, 
there's a lot of other things you could take you can have them go um, they do story time with mrs. Santa okay there which is very nice there is a show in the main atrium that you can you can, that's free for you to go okay they do Christmas lights they do um, uh, Circus Soleil uh, the whole place is just fantastic it, 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 there's a lot to do you'll really like it I think you can go online and they'll give you a time uh, that you can buy them at and um, I, I think that's the way it works see when we got the hotel room we got the tickets for free okay but if you call ahead or you go online and, and put ice at Gaylord Palm you can buy them ahead and you can buy a specific time because they let you in at a specific time for the ice sculpture but you can do everything else they've got a store hot chocolate sledding all that kind of stuff you'll have yeah you you uh, now going into the hotel the, the the other shows are all free all that other stuff is free it's just going through ice that costs money there you go all right Listen, this, this is what I'm here for. And, and we do it live in front of uh, you, you know all the people on YouTube. So <laughs> there you go, bro. All right. Later, brother. Bye. You're welcome. Bye-bye. You always got to help people out. A very good friend of mine. I had to answer that because he wants to take his grand, grandbaby to uh, Gaylord Palms. And what did we do live in front of everybody? Most unprofessional channel ever. Let's get back to our game here. Okay. So, anyways. <laughs> Tim goes, love this channel. Rob, you make it real life. It is real life. If you can't make it real life, if you're going to sit there like a robot and be phony, what the, what's the point? All right. So, you put all these together, right? And then you're going to traverse through different areas, which is really cool. See all this mountain stuff and everything like that? And I love these. Like, look at this. The sea is there. So maybe maybe you can't go there. There's a little desert here. Okay. So you're going to build this whole thing out. And let's take a look at these old instructions. There's the, oh, my God. This is older than time. So let's, uh, let me just run this down. Okay. I'm going to read the introduction to you. Welcome to this strange and silly world of kings and things. For the full title, please refer to the cover. Things and things. <laughs> it's a world of varied terrain, magical items, of mystical beasts and valiant heroes, of grand dukes and master thieves. In Kings and Things, you play the role of a minor noble vying for control of the broken kingdom of Kebab. Opposing you are three other equally minor nobles, all hoping to merge as the new emperor. To accomplish, to, to accomplish your divine task, you must expand your role of varied lands in Kebab. In Kedab. Kedab, Kedab, whatever, whatever, Kebab. Shish Kebab, that's what we'll call it. Increase your income, muster ragtag armies of whatever creatures are willing to join your cause, recruit powerful heroes to read them, build towers, keep keeps, castles, and finally a citadel to establish your base of power. Sound easy, doesn't it? <laughs> but watch out. Those other players are under the impression that it is their divine right, and they have the same chance to recruit armies and even gasp, steal away some of your loyal troops and fiends. If they built a citadel the same turn you do, then you can only win by conquest. That means you have to get your troops marching and capture a second citadel from someone else. Any questions? Good. Read on and all will be explained. There you go. Boom. Ian Hiller, how are you? Hello, everyone. How's things, Rob? I'm a bit late. Hope I haven't missed too much. Well, you missed a lot, but you can always go back and watch it. So, very interesting how you start to build your lands. And as you can see... Everything kind of goes out this way, and then you will put your 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 the four people will will fight from there. That's a standard game; is four players, I believe. 
I believe, hold on here. I, I'm going to look at the book. I think you can play it as a two player two. Uh, two to four, correct. Sorry. So, um, you can play it as a two player. You can even play it as a three player. Um, the sequence of play is very easy. During your setup, the play, uh, player orders was determined. Uh, during a phase, the player performs actions in order. Okay, example. In the gold collection phase, the first player takes gold, then the player to his left does. Once all players have taken gold, the next phase begins. At the beginning of the next turn, the player order shifts. The old second player, player, the one is the one to the first players to the left. Okay, so basically the second player, it becomes the first player. So it sequentially goes around. Turn sequence outline. So you got to really think things through here. You have your gold collection phase. You have your recruit character phase. You have recruit things. Okay, you want to recruit things. And you're going to be drawing those from a cup. Okay, uh, random event phase, and there's random stuff that can happen. Okay, um, movement phase, combat phase, construction phase, special power phase, and then change player order so that it, it'll turn. When in your game, we talked about that. It tells you how to build citadels and stuff like this. And over here, you're you're going to see how you're going to start building and expanding your your thing out. It really, it's kind of neat because the person that had this book prior kind of he outlines the important parts that you need so you so you don't have to go through the fluff oh there we go i played king of the tabletop but not this one kabuki how are you my dear hope you're doing well how to deploy a ragtag army um okay so you're going to run into creatures and they some of these creatures are going to go against you and cause you all kinds of bedlam so how you move your forces exploration because remember as you move you're going to be turning these things around because it's random every time um battles how they are you're going to la line up everything and you are going to perform melee and then ranged uh and then you can choose to retreat if you like combat's pretty easy just d6 uh you're going to take um strengths and match them against and any kind of modifiers uh okay missing a minor noble or two no problem here's what to do in a two or three player game then it's going to show you how you're going to do that and then you're going to decide on where you want to set up and th there's not a, a lot of rules it's only 14 pages pretty easy but just a lot you know another one of those those games where you are just going to take each other on and there's just so many of these awesome awesome tiles that you know it, it, everything's random and different terrain plays a major factor in here as well and whoa, 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 whoa. this one looks almost uh, looks pretty complete so i'm pretty excited about it I was glad to get this for a lousy five bucks. Gabby, who's licking my arm right now, is glad that I got it for, you know, that much. And uh, there you go. So a quick look at that. We looked at four games this morning. I hope you guys all enjoyed it. Let's go up top. Let's, let's put the lid on this. Um, you're going to see another live game that we're going to be doing. There's the back of my head. Um plan on doing this i think you guys are really going to enjoy this one because of the simplicity of it um i really like Wor worthington games they're very a, a good some of them a lot of people have complained about um the um the rule books being hard to understand but some of them are just very simple very easy and some of the games are just very, 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 just plain good, easy to play solo and have a great time. Hey, Rob, did you ever get a look at Valley of the Four Winds, an old games workshop game from the 80s? No, I never did, Ian. I would love to get my hands on that bad boy. Oh, woof. We've covered quite a bit today. We took a look at the new Talisman. We took a look at Tank Duel. We took a look at the Doctor Who game. We took a look at Kings and things. We went over the patron. We went over all kinds of different things. We talked about what we got going. We talked about what we're going to be taping. 
we got, we're, we're taped all the way out to the first. Okay? I mean, we're doing pretty good here. We have some time to spend together, so let's do it. All right. With that said, I think we've said it all. We've been here for an hour and five minutes. It's 1130. I think I'm going to get the pups ready. I'm going to get their Christmas scarves on. I have to get their, their, um, their antlers on. Yeah, trust me, antlers. And uh, guess what? We are going to be going and uh, having some fun with the old girls uh, getting their Christmas pictures. So, um, and then I got to watch the grandkid. Then we got Walmart delivering groceries. And uh, we've got a, I got a ton of other things that you guys got to see. I got some, I got some new games that I haven't even showed you yet. All right. I love you all. Have a great Sunday. I will see you tomorrow, I believe. I will see you Tuesday, definitely. Don't forget the live giveaway. If you cannot be there, email me your numbers. Number one, your number that we you want me to put on a piece of paper that's going to be involved every single time. And then if you end up in the dice roll of death, a number from 1 to 100. You can email that to me at NovaPrime860 at Hotmail.com because I know it is Christmas Eve. A lot of you got to go visit family and stuff like that and, and may not be able to stick your head in. That's okay. You don't have to be here. Okay? But if you are here, we're going to have a good time. And we're going to spend it together. And we're going to have a great time. So, I love you all as always. Be good to one another. Be good to each other. Not just this time of year, but all year long. And just remember, we'll be back like we always are each and every single day with some video of complete nonsense until next time it is your old pal rob saying merry christmas happy holidays happy hanukkah whatever you celebrate just enjoy the people around you and think of everybody and be well be well be good and be happy most of all that's the best wish i can ever give you until next time it's your old pal rob saying we'll see you soon now I just got to hang here for a minute and watch myself in the left-hand corner. Wait for me to stop pointing. And wait.